Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Iron Chest in Minecraft 1.13.2. Iron Chest is actually a really cool mod because it allows you to expand chests without having to like use a double chest. So you can make a chest bigger than a double chest, but it's the size of a single chest. Does that make sense? Basically it allows you to make iron chest, diamond chest, all sorts of stuff like that. It's really, really cool. We'll go over it more at the end of the video, but first we need to get it installed. And actually first we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server, running vanilla Minecraft, running paper Minecraft, running bucket, running forge, running whatever server software you want to run, whether you want a modded server, whether you want to server with plugins, Apex will be able to handle it, and it's at a very, very affordable price. Again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. We actually like Apex so much, we host our own server on them. Now, let's go ahead and get Iron Chest installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and it will take you here. This is the Iron Chest download page. Now, before you jump into this, okay, before you just go ahead and click download, you need to make sure you click on file, because... Yeah, right now, as you can see, Iron Chest 1.13.2 here at the top is in alpha. Meaning if you just click on this download button, it's not going to work. You need to click on File, and then you need to come here and make sure that this is for game version 1.13.2, which we can see it is. Then we can click on this little gray download button right next to it on the 1.13.2 version. Now, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, this will open up, and you'll need to save the file. If you're on Google Chrome, it'll be in the bottom left, and you'll need to keep the file down in the bottom left down here. It is 100% safe to do so as long as it ends in .jar and begins with Iron Chest, which this one does, so we can go ahead and save. Once we've done that, the file will download, but we're not done downloading yet. We still need to download Forge, which you can find at the third link in the description down below. Go down there, click that, it will take you here. And this is actually our tutorial on installing Forge. But once you're here, what you want to do is click on this green Download Forge button. It will take us off to MinecraftForge.net, where it's going to say I have ad blockers and then load ads. Does it every single time. Very odd. But nevertheless, once we're here, we will need to make sure that 1.13.2 is selected as our Forge version, which as we can see right here, 1.13.2 is selected. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click on the installer button right there. See that? Click on that installer button and it will take us off to add focus where we need to wait five seconds. Don't click anything on this page. Stop! Don't click anything on this page. All you want to click on this page is up here on the top right, this red skip button up here. Just click on that red skip button, and then it will ask us if we want to save this file. It's 100% safe to do so, again, as long as it says Forge at the beginning and .jar at the end. If you're on Google Chrome, it will want you to keep the file on the bottom left. So if you're on Chrome, click Keep. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, go ahead and click Save File. Now, if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we have two files. We have Iron Chest, and we have Forge. Iron Chest and Forge. If these aren't your desktop, don't freak out. Go ahead and click on the Windows icon in the top left up here, and then type in Downloads right like so, and you should have this Downloads folder. Open up that Downloads folder, and then drag Forge and Iron Chest from your Downloads folder to your desktop, just for ease of use there. Nevertheless, once these are on your desktop, we need to go ahead and get them installed. First, we want to start with Forge. Go ahead and right-click on Forge and select Open open with then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary, and then if you do, click OK. If you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary, though, what do you do? Well, don't freak out. We have a solution for you. All you want to do is go to the description down below, and you'll have a link to two things. First and foremost, the Java SE Development Kit here, also known as the Java JDK. You need the Java JDK to be able to open files with Java Platform SE Binary. So come to this tutorial. It'll teach you how to get the correct version for your PC, in addition through walking you how to install it and get everything set up. Once you've done that, you'll then need to come over here and run the jar fix, also linked in the description down below. Very, very simple file to run, but just come here, download the jar fix, and it will get everything up and running for you. This tutorial walks you through how to do it. Once you've done that, you will then again be able to right click on Forge, select Open With, and then be able to click Java Platform SE Binary. See that Java TM Platform SE Binary? Click on that, click OK, and then the Forge installer will open right like so. Now we want to go ahead and click on install client here and click OK and it will now go through download and install the Forge client that will run in Minecraft. Now here's the thing. One thing I do want to note here is that if you've not ran Minecraft 1.13.2 vanilla this will not work. So if it says we can't install it if the installation doesn't work all you need to do is go play Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods installed. Once you get to the main menu 
close out of it, come back, and Forge will install. But as we can see for us, it does say successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.13.2. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and click OK. And now we need to get Iron Chest installed. To do this, click on the top left. For me, it's in the bottom left of your screen. Again, that little Windows icon there. Click on that little Windows icon and then type in Run, R-U-N, for the Run application here. Go ahead and open up that Run application and we want to type in percent a p p d a t a percent percent app data percent exactly like that see that percent app data percent type it in right like that and then click ok then we'll have a folder open up here where we want to go ahead and go into the dot minecraft folder and then we should have a mods folder but nick what if i don't have a mods folder well no worries just right click create a new folder and title that new folder mods m-o-d-s exactly like that all lowercase then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder, take Iron Chest that you downloaded for 1.13.2 and drag it into your mods folder. Now we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher right like so. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, we should be able to click next to the play button and we should have a Forge profile. You can see this Forge profile here? If you do that, you can go ahead and click play. However, if you don't have a Forge profile, what you want to do is click on the three lines in the top right up here and then click on launch options. Once we're in launch options, we want to click add new right here and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because it's the best 1.13.2 grief protected survival server in the multiverse. Yes, you heard that right. The best 1.13.2 grief protected survival server in the multiverse. Come play with us. It is our own server. It's got jobs. It's got ranks. It's got crate keys and overall it's got an incredible community. We've got the best staff around. You won't regret it. Just type in play.breakdowncraft.com as your IP, click add server, and then join the best server in the multiverse. Nevertheless, right here next to version, we want to go ahead and click on where it says latest release or whatever it says next to version, and then we want to select our Forge version. Now, as you can see, I have multiple Forge versions. If that's the case for you, you want to make sure you click the one with the highest number at the end, in this case, 0.42, instead of 0.26. Also, you do want to make sure that it is Forge 1.13.2, which this one is. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so you guys will be able to see once we get in game. Now we can go ahead and click Save. Go back over to the News tab. Click the little green arrow next to the play button and then find our play.breakdowncraft.com profile right there. And then make sure it does say 1.13.2-forge under the play button. If it does, go ahead and click play. Now Minecraft will go ahead and open up with 1.13.2-forge installed, but most importantly with Iron Chest installed in 1.13.2. One thing I will say about Forge 1.13.2, don't, uh, don't, be surprised if it takes a long time to open. Did you see how long that took to open there? Yeah, it was a very long time, probably about 45 seconds to open up the first run of Forge because uh, it does take a while. Forge is a completely recoded version of Minecraft, basically. Once we're in here, we can click on the Mods tab and we'll be able to see that Iron Chest is in fact installed there, but we can also go ahead and I will open up a new single player world. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to load into this world and if it breaks stuff, it breaks stuff. I don't care. We're just going to load right on into this world here and I will go ahead, go into Creative and show you that Iron Chest is in fact installed and working by uh, placing a few down in game and specifically showing you all that they have in Creative. So let's go ahead and do Game Mode. Oh, we're already in Creative. So once we're here, we should be able to click over. And yes, there is the iron chest on. And we can see that there is the iron chest, the gold chest, the diamond chest, the copper chest, the silver chest, the crystal chest, the obsidian chest, and then the dirt chest. So let's go ahead. We'll check out the obsidian chest, the crystal chest. I'll just check out a few of these really quickly. And as you can see, this actually did add some ores to Minecraft as well with the uh, silver chest and the iron chest there. So pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and we'll just place these down like in the order that they, uh, that they are created. So let's go ahead and do that. So the iron chest, as you can see, and that's a pretty large chest, but it has nothing on gold, which has nothing on diamond, which has nothing on silver. Actually, actually silver, silver's not impressive in comparison to diamond there. But nevertheless, crystal is bigger than diamond and then obsidian is the biggest, I believe. So yeah, tons of room to put tons of stuff into chests. You can even do upgrades on these chests. As you can see, you can upgrade a wood chest to a copper chest to an iron chest, all sorts of different options there. So you can upgrade them. What is a dirt chest? I don't think I've ever used this in modded Minecraft and it's intrigued me now. Oh, there's a written book in it. What, what even is this? What even it? 
Welcome to your new Dirt Chest 9000. We hope you enjoy many years of storing your stack of dirt in our storage utility. That is really cool. So I wonder if you can store like unlimited dirt in there maybe? I don't know how that works. That is an awesome, if nothing else, just a cool little gimmick. But anyway guys, there you have it. Iron Chest is now installed in 1.13.2. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out in any way possible. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod tutorials. As soon as mods come out, I do tutorials on them, letting you know they're out and showing you how to install them, as well as showing off some of the cool features that they have in game. In the case of Iron Chest here. But nevertheless, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.